Today's Friday, May 21st, 2021. It's almost the weekend. Some folks hold it in high regard and others have never had a weekend off. Some folks get really excited over it. I don't know. Maybe it's because some government programs choose to take the weekend off. This is corporate. Corporate doesn't take the weekends off. You want to imagine yourself not not tied to corporate in the way you might be tied to the government on a uh, wage basis. You want it to be contractual. It's contractual. So not on an employment basis, but on a contractual basis. Some would argue it's the social contract. Me? I think just like business is personal, Every contract is social. It has to be. There's no other way around it. And we the people contracted to have a government. And contracted, well, agreed. It's in an agreement, an operating agreement, if you will, for this corporation. How it would run its scope, what its mission would be. That's why corporations have a mission statement. See, it's Friday. This one goes out to those who are also getting into a weekend ritual. And it's nice. It's predictable. You know that come Monday, what you can expect is going to be a beginning, a restart, a renewal, and that's week to week. But when you're on a contractual basis, there's no such thing as weekends. Because when you're on contract, you, the contractor, necessarily dictate how much you'll be working, how long you'll be working for. It's a thing of beauty. But for some, this isn't really a blessing. For some, this is really a curse. Why? Because they're lost. They don't know what to do for themselves. They don't know what to do to improve their lot in corporate. Or, shall I say, with corporate. You go back to the very beginning of this podcast, and you'll hear me say, this podcast is not about working for corporate it's about working with corporate and it's hard for some people to conceive because they're just the individual just human how can they begin to deal with corporate when corporate is an entity not human (laughs) not of this world what we know of to be natural law. Well, since you're on a contract basis, you don't have to, you don't have to uh, just think human, I suppose. What's a better word for that? I'm trying to, uh, you don't have to, what is it? Deal. You don't have to, work for human and 
human ever human you don't have to work for human is it fault error human avarice for you don't have to work under another human's will nah, I don't know. it'll come to mind that one wasn't even on the tip of my tongue i'm over here just exercising but that's what this podcast is for that's who this podcast is for it's for those who are choosing to continue exercising even though it is the weekend it's for those who choose to continue working and improving themselves making themselves better even though it is the weekend It's like going to the gym. It's like going to the gym. When you're at the gym, when you're at the gym, <clears throat> you might start small. And I mean with a low amount of weight, only a few number of reps, because you're starting small. It's a small beginning. And throughout the course of your workout, you see, I'm only talking about one workout. Throughout the course of your workout, you might go up in weight, the weight that you use for your repetitions in order to uh, tire your muscle out, in order to wear it down. You're putting in that work. It's, it's grind time. You're at the gym. And over the course of your workout, towards the end, finally you begin to tire out. You begin to fail. Yeah, it'll be a perfect tie-in. You begin to fail. You work out to failure. <clears throat> Some might call it a burnout. Some others call it uh, pyramiding. Pyramids. But do you, <clears throat> even though you might have failed on your workouts, do you believe that you failed? Do you leave the gym believing you are a failure? Why the gym analogy, Alex? Because takes me back to the first semester of school when I had professors telling me it's like going to the gym. And I didn't believe them. Well, I knew how to learn, but the analogy they gave me, I did not believe. See, I had grown strong Without learning, I had grown strong. I began to understand the material where in the beginning I could not understand it. And finally, I got really good grades in the class. I scored very well in the exam, the final exam, and even got the opportunity for a letter of recommendation afterward. So, did I fail? No. But analogizing it as going to the gym has now helped me understand that when you're first working with a subject matter when you're first starting a project those are the hardest days and it makes sense because you're grappling with the work you might start slow and then little by little bump up the amount of responsibility you have to be you hold yourself accountable for that's it you bump up 
the responsibility you are to be held accountable for. The individual tasks, the individual reps, as you go up in your sets, that is completing your tasks and bringing the project, not, not the project, but bringing your, your work day, your, uh, yeah, your work day to a close. You might feel and walk away like you have not accomplished anything. And after two weeks time, you turn back around and you realize that you've progressed. You've progressed. Where your baseline, the base weight that you begin on is now higher. You can start with more weight. If after two weeks you don't feel like that, and I'll, I'll give you two weeks, it takes two weeks to, I suppose, notice anything. And a normal person's attention span can go back for two weeks at least for you to notice any changes that have been occurring in your routine that have occurred in your demeanor the attitude with which you approach every work day with which you approach every work out until you begin to see some change in regularity and then before you know it you're making that connection between the work you've done and the plans that you had that's the mind muscle connection and it's instantaneous where as you become better at identifying <clears throat> problems and then immediately, well not immediately, but as soon as possible start to solve them puts you in a category of puts you in a category of agility I can only call creative problem identification and creative problem solving because you're constantly creating you might not be sitting still the patterns become tighter and tighter together you filling in every gap of your understanding with a better comprehension between your plan that is your mind and the work you do, which is your body. And you can track that progress rep to rep, repetition to repetition. That's scary, isn't it? Where before the mind muscle connection was only week to week, but I'm talking day to day. What have you done today? What have you done in the past hour? That's how you track progress. You find where you would regularly would be, that is a base, and you improve from there constantly. That should be the goal, is to improve, to get better, to get faster, to be quicker. But then that opens up a whole can of worms as to what exactly you're doing better, you're getting faster at. What is it? Is it a process? Is it a system? Is it your life? 
Is it your death? But that's a discussion for another episode. For those who are truly fucked up. Or those who uh, want to increase their comprehension at least. That is, go to the gym. And hang out after exhaustion. Continue working after exhaustion. That's failure. Those who want to increase their under those who want to increase their comprehension before they can begin to address their understanding. Those who begin by increasing their comprehension before they can start understanding. That's how you get special forces. You're just recruiting areas of your brain that'll keep you working without having to think. That'll keep you working past the point you're supposed to um, take a break, we'll call it. And I've met those individuals in my lifetime, and I'm sure you hear it often. Folks who go without lunch, folks who don't take breaks, those who uh, work bell to bell and not stray from the business, not leave the gym. Those are... Um, those are corporate cowboys. They aren't told what to do. They just go out there and get it done. Have a nice weekend.